What came in the mail today? The Timu stuff. The Timu stuff. You see this whole big package of stuff here? This is today's video. You probably have seen this because I don't know how you could be on the internet for more than a couple minutes and not somehow see it. But there is this new app called Timu. It's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere you look and it's essentially Amazon, but way less expensive. And so, yes, we ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Household things, things that we need, things that I would ideally go to Amazon for. We ordered them off of Timu. And I wanna see, what all did we get? I'm gonna tell you how much we spent. And I'm just excited to see. I'm okay, quite so, amazed. Okay. Tell them how much. Hold on. Okay. The shipping really didn't take that long. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Why I mean, do it? I mean it, I'll, I'll pull it all up, but it's not that it took forever. I mean, if I needed something immediately, I could have just gone to the store here and gotten it. But these are all things that I would like to pick up. The shipping was fine. And let's see if we got some good deals. I don't know. Yay! I'm just excited to try it all out. So all of our Timu stuff is here and I'm going to open it all up with you. So we if you've been a little hesitant and you've kind of been like, I'm not too sure. I don't know. Well, I went ahead and ordered a bunch of stuff for you and now we're going to open it up and see what on earth we got. Okay. So come hang out with me. We're just, yeah, us. She's really excited. It came in today and she's like, the Timu stuff is can, here. Can you get the spotted one with the gruff blow? Yeah. So, um, anyways, it's a little dangerous. I'm not saying go buy a bunch of stuff that you don't need and like just have a bunch of excess, but if you need some things, you want to check it out. Let's see what we got. Individually bagged. Like That's kind of nice. It's like, yeah, stuff. Look at all of this stuff. They put it. It's cool. It's efficient. All packaged together. Mary Poppins bag of never-ending stuff. What's this? Oh, I'm excited for that. Oh my oh. word. Timu Hall starts now. And now you have a new hat. And original packaging can also yeah. work as a hat. I love hats. Lovely. You can also put play as a bag. There you go. To yeah, you're good to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so much stuff. So, Timu again, it's this app that you get. Here's the thing. Since doing YouTube, we get a lot of sponsored products and things like that, where people will contact us and say, hey, we'd like for you to try this out. We try it out, and if it's something that we're like, wow, that's really awesome. Like I'd actually buy that because that worked well. Then we share it because I'm not going to share stuff that we wouldn't be like, yeah, I, I would spend money on that. That's helpful. That worked. Okay. Because the goal isn't to just have a bunch of stuff, but there's nothing wrong with lovely, you know, touches to your home or having things that work well and, and, and serve the purpose that they need to. So Timu, what they are, is most everything that you're ordering off of Amazon comes from a warehouse in China. Most everything you're getting in Walmart and Target and everywhere else, that's where it's coming from. I mean, you can, you can trace back everything in the manufacturers that it comes from. That's what you're getting. What Timu has done is instead of being like Amazon, where Amazon's located here, we know Amazon, come on. I mean, it's the beast system. I mean, it's huge. It covers everything. Amazon is great for many purposes. And Amazon has built what they are with the model in which they work. Amazon takes a large chunk of the profits for them. That's their business model. That's how it works. That's how Jeff Bezos is Jeff Bezos, right? Like that's how it works. That's fine. It is what it is. What Timo's done here is their model doesn't look like that. So most of these products are like the same exact products 
a lot of times even the same manufacturers that you're getting stuff from on Amazon. But instead of listing their stuff on Amazon, where Amazon's gonna take a large chunk of the profits, Timu lists it directly. It, right over there, they're headquartered here in America, but then they directly connect with everyone over there. So that way they can send you stuff at a much lower price break. That's how it works out. Most everything's the same. You're really not getting that big of a difference. So that's what's really cool about this. We, of course, you guys, I have a special link for you, link down below. If you've never downloaded the app, you've never tried them out, um, special discounts and things, I will link it all down below. You guys, it doesn't hurt to try, right? That was kind of my thing, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, I will say that the app is very quick with ads and pop-ups if you turn them all on. I personally do not like to be inundated with stuff, 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 stuff. I turn all of that off. I don't have those. I don't get the emails. I don't do the stuff because it's too much for me. You can make those adjustments if you need to. So you guys can absolutely do that. Um, and let's go ahead and see what we got. I spent $50. This is $50 worth of stuff that has been on our household list of things that we need, things that need to be replaced, things that are broken, things that just we haven't gotten to. So I want to be very dutiful because I don't want a house full of junk. I don't want to have so much stuff that it's just overwhelming. I love a simple, minimal life, but that doesn't mean that I don't still utilize items because I do. There's seven people that live in my house. We go through a lot of stuff. So what I did is I sat down with a list of things that we need and have kind of been on my list and I just haven't replaced or Sometimes I find them in thrift stores, but they kind of want too much money. And it was a lot cheaper to get brand new from Timu than even to pick up a lot of these things in a thrift store. Okay, so it's awesome. It's pretty cool. I do have a discount code for you. If you guys want to try it out, I think it's pretty neat. I'm excited. If I can get some of the things that are like the useful tools that I need around the house or would like to have or things that can be, you know, there's some great gifts and different things like that. Yeah, I've got a little bit more than like a two day shipping, but it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and I saved a fortune, all of this. So let's go through and let's see what I got. This was one of those things that I feel kind of silly about, but it's something Lily and I cook a lot and bake a lot. And it's one of those things that, um, I have bought before in thrift stores and I always get glass ones and every time I buy one, it breaks. And honestly, I just kind of got annoyed with that. And so then we don't have them, but Lily was like, I really would like to have one. This little gadget, it's nothing terribly exciting, except for it is because it is a pot lid holder and spoon rest because Lily likes to do more cooking and do more things. and trying to keep it tidy and clean and all the stuff like that's been something we've been working on with while we're in the kitchen cleaning as we go and keeping stuff tidy and so having this that we can just set you know in the drawer off to the side or whatever so you've got a spoon rest here and then this will perfectly it's got the little thing here to hold it will hold up your pot lid so you can keep everything right together like so simple and I paid next to nothing for it. Um, everything that I got, I will link down below. So yes, I have coupon codes and special savings for you. And then I'll link the exact items. So if you're like, I would like to spend, I don't even remember how much I spent. It was like ridiculously cheap and um, had this doomajiggy. And I love that it is easy to clean, easy to keep up. It was just one of those things that we were like, you know what? Yes, please. Pot lid holder and spoon rest take my money. All right, next here. Oh, okay, this I'm really excited about because I see these advertised on social media all the time. And I've gone to get them on Amazon before, but then they were just kind of expensive, not like ridiculously expensive, but like, eh, do I really need to spend the money? No, probably not. We have a lot of animals, which means we have a lot of animal hair. And I am constantly, so much of my day is spent with my vacuum, like trying to clean up all of the things. So I went ahead and finally got myself one of those real used to have one. super nifty. It's got like the, the real fine little bristles here that clothing, furniture, rugs, you name it. You just like shoop, shoop, shoop. And it's the most amazing lint roller in the whole wide world. So I am so excited to tackle like our couches and 
clothing with this because we always are battling the clothes. animal hair. So that's super duper exciting. And again, it's all linked down below if you wanna see how much each of the individual items are. This next thing, again, I just went through Timu and I looked at my list of like, what are those things that I keep needing to buy? But either I get on Amazon or I go to Walmart and I'm like, eh. Like, yeah, I know there's lots of little things that we need. They're worn out, they need to be replaced, but it just adds up and it's so much money. Like washcloths. We don't use um, paper towels or things like that. We just use reusable washcloths. But it means then that our stuff gets really dingy after a while because it's what we use for napkins, for paper towels, for anything you would use a disposable, we use something that's cloth. So being able to pick up this is that one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yeah. Five cloths. Just a gray and white stripe. They're super soft. Kind of like microfiber feeling. So anyways, getting some like soft microfiber. I paid next to nothing for this, you guys. Even getting a pack at Walmart, again, it's those little things that add up that when you're constantly needing to replace them, you're constantly needing to get more. And then it's like, how did I spend so much money? So for me, I was like, you know what? We are going to give these a shot because I would much rather not, <laughs> not have to spend that much money on all these little things that you end up just needing, which also I went ahead in doing more dining outside at our little table and just lovely living and um you know nice little touches i was like you know what i really want a set of napkins we use usually i buy washcloths and we use those kind of as paper towels and then we use them as our napkins because i don't buy paper napkins um which is nice but then these just get real dingy real quick because we use them for everything which is fine that's the purpose we get them for go ahead and put them all in and shut the door sweetie but i was like i kind of would like to have just like an actual napkin like you know like maybe something that's a little bit nicer than just a dingy you know cloth i'm kind of falling in love like mustard is becoming my color yellows i never thought i was a yellow person but i think i'm a yellow person so i saw these here and I was like, you know what? I think I want them. One, two, how many I get? Three, four, oh, five, six. So a set of six. Everybody but my brother will get one. <laughs> but a set of six here, they're good size. Look how big these are. And they are just a nice, I didn't want anything fancy or whatever. They're just a nice, simple stitch around. To put like your, like your bowl of food on it? Or like no, it's food? just your, so now you have a napkin. When we sit down to eat, we now have nice, like pretty, just napkins, yeah. So I was, I was really excited about these and I think the color is beautiful. It's the color I thought it was going to be. Um, and they're nice. It says it is like a polyester, oh, yeah, but it doesn't feel, it feels like it would be absorbent. These so hopefully. Too. All right. I'm pretty excited about the napkins. I think that was like, I think the one I was most looking forward to. Yay. I kind of love that everything comes in a little bag. Okay. So the next thing is a splash guard for our kitchen sink. I have a fabric one um, that I got on Amazon and it is great. It is really absorbent because I hate when people are turning the faucet on and off and the water drips everywhere. It gets all nasty back there. It drives me crazy. I feel like our fabric one though, sometimes some kids are a little messier than others. And so it's getting gross quicker essentially is what I'm getting at here. So I thought about getting one of the silicone ones. I have seen them on Amazon, but honestly, I didn't want to spend that much money. Um, I know that some of them, like they're not that much, but it's like, again, you have all the little things of life that you need to make all the things do the thing. And it just becomes so much when you add it all up. And so when I found this one on Timu, I was like, you know what? We're gonna give this a shot. Let me see if I can get into this package without making a ton of noise. I kind of wanted, um, a big one because like I said we kind of got a big space there in the way mm -hmm. our sink overlaps and stuff I wanted to make sure it could cover everything really well <gasps> so I got this black one here it's silicone and it will perfectly you know fold up around whatever size you know with for the single faucet there like that's what ours is it has the ridges on it and then it also has these drains so you put this on with these little drain ports going into your sink so the water and stuff that does get there it can escape and it's not just stuck there um, which is what I really really liked I like that it's big enough so I can even set like the soap container on here so as we're getting that and that spills 
it will all be contained here on the thing. They have different color options and stuff. I like black, so I picked black. And then I love that I can take this off and easily clean it periodically as it needs it. And um, this, I feel like it's very, I like the material. I feel like it's really going it's to sweater. stay in yeah. place and be what I need it to be. High quality, and you guys, I'm telling you, I paid like, nothing for this stuff so that was just such a great deal it even has the little you know it's got it got a break in the back so it's not getting stuck you're not having to fight it and make it crazy but it's little things like this I feel like make such a difference because when I'm constantly cleaning the kitchen as it is and then every time somebody touches the sink water's going everywhere soap's getting spilled everywhere at least it can all be on this and I can just wipe, rinse it off wipe it off at the end of the night and we're a done deal I love so that was exciting this next item I'm really excited about, and maybe I shouldn't be this excited, but I am. The shower curtain rings in our kids' bathroom are awful. They were super pretty. I got them. I loved them. Kids pull hard on things, and I feel like the ones that we have, I don't remember where I got them from, they're just a little more delicate, and so they're constantly getting popped off. They're constantly getting bent. They're constantly getting goofed up, and I'm like, this is making me crazy over the stinking shower curtain. I wanted them to have ones that could be easily attached. It's not a pain in the rear to take it off when I need to wash their curtain. It's one of the hooks, it's simple things like this, right? Where I can put the pretty curtain hooks on the outside and then the liner hooks on the inside. It's got the roller balls and everything. So it's very easy. These are like heavy duty feeling and it just works better. Again, they have these on Amazon. They're not hard to find. This isn't like a miracle, but the price the price is what's getting me. Again, guys, they're all linked down below. That's what you have to go check out because when you go through these things on there, it is a little addictive. Watch yourself. I will say that. I don't even want to tell you how many items are in my like save to cart because there is a lot on here for deals like you have never seen before. So far, everything I've gotten though has been pretty spot on quality wise for what I thought I was getting. So uh, I have no complaints. Because again, this is the thing. I know I've seen so many people and they're like, I don't know about Timu. I don't know if we should trust it. Guys, it's the same companies that you're shopping from on Amazon. It honestly is. They're just cutting out the middleman. Amazon, I'm sorry, that upcharges all of the things. We have needed a whisk. This I feel like is maybe a little ridiculous to be so excited for, but we've needed a whisk in our house for the past couple of years. Yeah. I've picked up so many whisks from the store that one, I hate when you're always battling the drawer to get the whisk in and out of it. That's one part. But two, I've gotten some great like silicone handle ones or silicone tipped ones, but the, the apparatus where everything goes into gets full of water in the dishwasher. And then it's always, have you guys have that? And then it's like leaking out and you put it in the thing and then it gets nasty and it just grosses me out and whatever. I, I get that these are like silly first world problems, but I'm just being honest. So when I saw one of these, I've always wanted one of these where you can twist it and it lays flat. It's easily, it's all connected in here. So you don't have little holes where wires are going into that are gonna get like nasty and gross and like, ugh, I don't even know what all is like harbored down in there. You literally just twist and open up the whisk, right? See how it all like fans open here. And then you twist and close it. It's simple, I get it. Like these are not like massive achievements of science over here, but it's the little things in life that I can close my whisk and not have to fight it out of the drawer. I know it's going to get cleaned. It's got like just enough bend in it to do the whiskey things I need it to do. But when you don't have a whisk in your home, you kind of be surprised at the things you run into throughout life. You're like, dang it, we need a whisk right now and we don't have one. So now we have a whisk. Thank you, Timu. I am very excited about this. And every time we go to bake something, we go to make something and we need a whisk, we're all going to be thankful. Yeah. It's the little things in life, y'all. Okay. Oh. So cool. This is another one I'm so excited for. Again, it was going through the list there and when everything is so inexpensive and you're looking at all those little things, if you're like us and you have lots of little things in life in your home that are broken, that need to be fixed, that need to have some sort of attention put to them and you just don't have the money laying around to be like, yeah, sure, we'll replace that and fix that and do this. For some of us, that's how life goes. And so then you inevitably end up in the situation where you kind of have all kinds of stuff all over the house that needs to be fixed and it's on your get to it someday list. We love having hooks to hang things on in the kitchen, like 
pot holders, hand towel, um, different little, I mean, heck, we could hang the whisk on it if we wanted to. It's just a heavy duty magnet on a wire rack, guys. Like it's not, again, it doesn't have to be a big thing, but all those little inconveniences of life where you're like, dang it, if I just had, well, when they're this affordable, when they're, they're this cheap for the same quality product that you'd be getting elsewhere, you can actually kind of take care of some of those things. So we've had little things hanging on our fridge and I've gotten little plastic command strips and things like that and the hooks break and this breaks and like all these different things fall apart. And I'm like, good gravy. I just want something I can put up here that will hold the things we need it to hold. This is gonna look a lot neater and nicer than all the things we currently have on there and it'll work and it's metal and it's not plastic. Pretty excited about it. Wow, these are really nice too. So because we use reusable cloths all the time, like I said, I wanted a pretty napkin, kind of just I wanted a pretty napkin. I thought that sounded lovely and I really wanted a pretty napkin. I got some like regular washcloths like we're used to having and I love that they're like a microfiber material. And then they had these that were just a crazy good deal. And there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of them. It's simple, guys. Again, they're very soft fabric, but little things like this to have in the home for normal washing up of stuff. To use these essentially as paper towels. These are soft enough. I can clean screens. I can clean tablets. I can easily wipe off dirty kid faces. You know, all of those little things. And again, we're gonna use them. We're gonna run them into the ground and use them till the threads are falling apart. And then they will have served their purpose and they will have lasted and they will have done a great job. And when it comes time to need to be replaced, I'll spend a couple bucks on Timu and replace them. But we use our stuff as long as we can use it literally until it's ratty with holes in the middle we keep using it so we make sure we we are responsible and we get a good use out of it and don't want to be wasteful but things like this that are just great i mean this is a soft fabric but it's also tightly woven so when you go to clean stuff you're going to be cleaning stuff they're going to work well and so being able to have some of these cloths that we can throw in a drawer and have them there to use and reuse i'm not having to buy paper towels all the time i'm not having to buy paper napkins all the time um these are my favorite so i, I did go ahead and try the two different types just because i wasn't sure what i would like i like these for maybe you know washing up some dishes or having you know an extra you know if the kids want to use that instead of the yellow napkins but these is like reusable paper towels like they're really perfect pretty. perfect all right what's in what's in this one um, i don't know what's in this one. okay this was one of my things that i didn't necessarily need but, you just but I was it. getting to the end of my thing and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it because it's lovely and it was a really good deal. And I think it's important as keepers at home to have lovely spaces for our families. We have all of these really cute trays. I know all these little like serving trays or just decor trays, even in like Marshall's and TJ Maxx, I'm kind of amazed at the price of some of them sometimes. I get it. I mean, people need to make their money. I understand that I'm not downplaying that, but sometimes I'm just like, okay, that's a bit much. They have all kinds of different sizes. I just got the small one because when we, we, we have somewhere that I want to use this and I just needed like a little, I, I didn't need, but I just wanted like a little tray or a little something that I could use, but it is a real wood, very nice. Got the little divot. Um, for hosting and entertaining. Just lovely little, if you're wanting to do tea parties or something like that, they have some amazing things to use for that. So this is, uh, I like that. Again, didn't have to have it. That was a, a want, not a need. All right, almost to the last tier of this like, oh my goodness, Timu craziness. Our family doesn't really have, it's cause I don't like plastic but it means we have like no storage things. We used to have a bunch of glass stuff, um, but then we honestly kind of just phased that out. We really don't have any storage stuff. My husband has asked that he would really appreciate it if we could at least have a few containers, like storage containers for food for in the fridge. 
but I like a very minimal, simple kitchen. I don't like to have a ton of stuff shoved all over the place. And so I wanted something that, you know, was maybe compactable. So when I saw this on Timu, I was like, okay, you have my attention. Also, again, it's one of those things where I know, I mean, Walmart, Amazon, you can find containers everywhere. They're so expensive. I cannot get over how expensive they are. And so Timu had this one. It's a, let's see, one, two, I think it's a three bowl set. Dishwasher safe. They're the super cool pop open, have the lid, but then at the same time, it means you can collapse them down. And these are not, I'm not going to have to go redo my whole thing to figure it out. Like a pancake in there. Yep, like a pancake. <laughs> Store it, even a little small one for little things. Put like candies in there. Really. And even when they are closed up and you put this in the dishwasher like a plate, you know, you're still going to be able to get water in these. Um, it's food grade silicone, so you're able to use it for everything. I have no idea if these are microwave safe because we do not use a microwave. We do not own a microwave. I'm not team microwave, but for food storage and having things, if you need something that you can take on the go, honestly, they're nice and inexpensive. So if you go to lots of like hosted luncheons and things like that, where you maybe don't get your stuff back at the end, it's kind of nice to know again, if it can go and be a blessing to someone else, someone else can use it. That's cool. You're only out like a couple bucks um, for the whole set all put together. So um, these are really nice. I mean, the lids fit on. It's a really good seal. You could like bring it to hike. And it and feels like a good fit. Well, yeah, to be able to take this, like, like when we go out hiking, to be able to put the stuff in it, we go, sometimes we have a little lunch while we're out and doing whatever. Exactly. And then um, collapse it up. It takes up no space and, and bring it back with you. My husband will be so happy because we now actually have some storage containers that he can use like when so he is cooking, which he will greatly appreciate. So the last thing I got was actually the most expensive. I spent, I believe, $20 on this. Maybe a little more. I don't remember. I think it was $20. Um, but it was kind of because, you know, we, we didn't need all of it. And it's all linked down below so you guys can do it. But I just, not that we needed to take care of it all at the same time. It was just really nice to be able to get on the app and take care of it all at the same time. We have all hardwood floors in our house, which I love. But we really wanted to find a rug that we could put in front of our couch. Just where we sit down, right? To have somewhere that actually is like a soft rug. And we've had different ones over the years. But I saw this one and I feel like maybe it's, it's a little much for our house, but I was just excited and I was like you know what let's try it we don't like it we don't like it we can always send it back but and so we measured it out and this should fit perfectly just right in front of our couch and it is just a big fluffy rug see how fluffy this is look at that Oh my gosh. Isn't it? It feels like Lucy's Oh my work. gosh, yeah. This thing is, Yeah. It, oh my word. It's like a big faux fur rug. Oh my gosh. It's so, and it's so soft and fluffy. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. And it's lightweight, which I love. It's got backing on it, you know, so it does have, you do have some backing. Oh my and I like that it is lightweight, so, once a day to come out and shake it off outside. Super easy, not gonna be a problem. But now to have that like big, soft, kind of get... fluffy rug, I'm pretty excited for this. Don't get slime on it though. Yeah, please do not spill slime on my rug, but um, I'm pretty, pretty excited about this is going to be pretty neat. Wow, way to go Timu. First Timu order, everything was perfect. Thank I love you, it, I think Timu. it looks great. Yeah, thank you Timu. So $50 spent, but literally is being able to take a little bit of a budget for all of these just like odds and ends of home that you're constantly like, er, I know I need to, I need to put this on my list or we need to pick this up or next time we're in the store, I need to remember. Or every time I go to bake something and I don't have a whisk, I'm like, oh, that's right. We still don't have a whisk. It's little things like that. Being able to take care of those and no longer have the stinky, fabric one around the thing that the kids are constantly um, getting stuff all over and now having some lovely napkins to sit out for our next tea party. Like little things like that. Being able to go in and fix the kids shower curtain. 
totally worth a few bucks, you know, per item around here to be able to check these things off and get these things taken care of. So super big thanks to Timu. Definitely appreciate them and just, again, being a different resource. I feel like um, I'm all for business. I'm all for, you know, building stuff up and that's great. But I think a certain company here has had the monopoly on um, getting stuff easily through an app, quickly shipped over and taking care of all these little odds and ends that we need. And so seeing an alternative to that, that is dependable, that is reliable, um, nobody's perfect, but they're just connecting you to the retailer or, you know, to the manufacturers that you're already getting stuff from. So having a, a new option to be able to go to, to get the things you need, um, they've got great customer service and things like that. So being able to go and get what we need for all these little odds and ends that we love having. I mean, if I can find a gadget or a tool that's going to help me keep something together, be more organized, just be a need that we have in the house. Dirty. Oh, your hands are dirty. Can you go in the bathroom and wash those? You should get a big but, one. Hold on. So if we can have a resource to be able to get those tools that we need, the money is getting to the manufacturers who are making it. The man in the middle isn't taking such a large chunk and then that savings gets passed on to us. I'm all for it. I think that's fantastic. And so the fact that they are partnering with people, they're offering these great discounts and codes. I think that's a really cool thing. So again, thank you to Timu. You guys be sure you head down below, check out my link. That's going to give you a special savings. Um, if you're a new customer, you're brand new to it, you've never tried it out, you're gonna get a special savings. If you've been with Timu and you have that, I also have some coupon codes. You guys will get those. So that is all linked down below. Also, I've linked every single item I got. So if you guys are looking for, oh my gosh, yes, please. Like I'm so sick of the water all over the sink. You're welcome, it's down below. So I guess I'm gonna go clean up inside my house and get all of this stuff put in there. Be sure to head back. Would you guys like to see the stuff in action? Leave me a comment and let me know. We can always do a video kind of showing you what we got and how it's holding up and using it, but I am very happy. I think everything I got was exactly the, the quality and what I was expecting it to be. I wasn't expecting this to be a billion dollar rug, right? I wanted something lightweight and inexpensive that would fit where I needed it to fit, would be easy to shake off when I needed to. And if the kids drop slime on it or it gets ruined or something happens, I'm not going to lose my mind because it cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars that's what I was going for. And that's exactly what I got. So, so excited. Thank you, Timu. If you guys want a little something else to watch, might I recommend this right here? Otherwise, go check out all those links down below and I will see you all right back here tomorrow. Bye friends.